so welcome to the very first class of Microsoft Excel 2013 today will be uh, some uh, sort of a practical class rather than a theoretical class so Microsoft Excel as you know that uh, it is a calculation software it is based on spreadsheets and uh, there are several versions of Microsoft Excel and I have installed Microsoft Microsoft Excel 2021 2013 and uh, I'm going to run it and but first you have to go to run uh, install Microsoft Excel and then you will be able to run it uh, Excel just write Excel in here and click on it and this will show a new window Microsoft Excel is now going to open so Microsoft Excel is open now and we see here that first at the start we have to create a blank workbook we will click on here and we will create a new workbook first I will discuss you about uh, the interface of this my, my, this window that uh, here is the here is the title bar and in the uh, bottom most it is a uh, it is the status bar it is title bar and uh, here comes the status bar it is our worksheet window this full window is called our worksheet, win worksheet window so today we will learn that uh, how to create a blank worksheet this con complete window is termed as a workbook and when you open the Microsoft Excel workbook, blank workbook, it contains one sheet. On some versions, contain three or four sheets. Or a workbook is a collection of multiple worksheets. This is called workbook. This full area is termed as a workbook. And a workbook is consisted of many worksheets. One or more worksheets are are combined to form a workbook uh, just like you have a book and there are several pages in that book uh, uh, just like that a workbook uh, uh, contains many worksheets one or more worksheets so I hope you clear the concept about worksheet and workbook and in order to create a new workbook you have to first first method was uh, you have to open excel and click on it and it will show you the excel opening options and now you have to click on blank workbook you you saw that uh, the a blank workbook named book 2 is opened but remember that this workbook is not yet saved so this workbook will be saved uh, when you will save it manually so Excel does not automatically save a new workbook and you have to save it automatically. So first we created a workbook and now we will save this workbook. To do to save a workbook a workbook what we have to do? We have to we have to do these two things. Number one, we can click on here and this is a floppy button and click on it and it asks about the location where it wants we want to say to save our file and uh, I would like to save this file at uh, desktop okay then I will save it and I will set the file name my first work book and the file is now saved you have seen it 
and uh, there is a short also a shortcut key to save workbook uh, and uh, that shortcut key is current CTRL plus S and this means you type you press control or command button from your keyboard by key pressing that and uh, you press S the word S so that control CTRL plus S will save a new workbook and once your workbook is saved its name will be shown in the upper top corner upper uh, center co center of this workbook that uh, I have saved the, just you see that uh, my first workbook uh, this name is uh, clearly seen and uh, that this workbook is now saved it it means that this workbook is now saved so we learn about uh, creating a workbook and saving it and uh, let us create a new worksheet a workbook contains many worksheets as we know that and we have to for example we have to create a new worksheet so, so we will have to create uh, click on right side of this worksheet and create click on insert insert and then okay this will create a new worksheet you saw that we will we had uh, sheet number one now we have sheet number two and uh, it means that one more one more worksheet is added to this workbook so workbook one contains two worksheets sheet number one and sheet number two one more method to add uh, or insert a worksheet is by clicking on this plus button and it will also add the worksheet so by keeping it short I am explaining you today's class what we are actually going to learn and what we have learned so far and second class guideline is number one we created a worksheet, created a workbook, and uh, we learned how to saving a workbook, and uh, we created a new worksheet. Thus, you saw so you saw that uh, sheet number two and sheet number three were created by by me by clicking on this button plus button it will create a new worksheet a worksheet is just like uh, pages and a workbook is just like a book a book can contain many pages and a worksheet can can be a part of a workbook okay so in move moving further uh, delete our how to delete a worksheet now we have to know how to delete a worksheet to delete a worksheet just we have to click on the right side of that worksheet and uh, that's click on that uh, worksheet name right right click and then click on delete once again I will show you to delete a new worksheet to delete any worksheet within the workbook uh, you just have to right click on that worksheet and then click on delete that worksheet will be deleted instantly and uh, one more method to delete a worksheet is by clicking here and clicking on delete cells well, where we are we are in the home tab and uh, we have to delete a worksheet I don't want to delete this worksheet because it contains the today's guidelines uh, I will well, I would like to delete create a worksheet and then delete it so I will delete this worksheet and how I will do it I will click on here in the home tab and in the cells then click on here and we click on delete sheet so that this sheet is successfully deleted now now we have created a workbook and saved a workbook created a new worksheet and deleted a new worksheet 
now we will rename we will learn how to rename a worksheet rename a worksheet to rename a worksheet it is very simple for example uh, you right click on the name on it and click on rename the first method is right clicking on the sheet name and click on rename then press backspace then write the name of the sheet class work okay so we learned how to rename a worksheet and one more method is so simple uh, just click on any worksheet and uh, you now you are able to edit its name class work when you name a worksheet or you change the name of an existing worksheet you have to keep in mind several things certain things a few things uh, number one you cannot create a similar named work sheet in excel it means that we uh, you saw that we i i have created class work named worksheet and uh, i have i want to create one more worksheet with this name if i would try to do this it will show an error so i am showing you what it will be when we try to create a duplicate worksheet with the same name it will not allow me to do this class work and uh, i you saw that i created i tried to create a new worksheet with this same name of the first existing worksheet and it is excel is showing me an error that that name is already taken try a different one so uh, excel is not allowing me allowing me to create a worksheet multiple worksheets with the same name once a worksheet is created you can change its name but you cannot create a new worksheet with that name so i am again changing the name of the pre previous worksheet uh, the name of the new worksheet new worksheet okay now we learn how to create a new rename a new worksheet and uh, now we have we want to learn how to move a worksheet out for suppose you have one file and you you have one more file for example my i have uh, my first book workbook my first workbook saved in desktop and i want to create one more copy of it for example and i would like this worksheet to copy to that excel work workbook and i don't want to I don't want to copy it I want to move it for example let us suppose uh, you can uh, either copy uh, this whole uh, worksheet to do to another workbook or you can uh, just move this workbook worksheet to another workbook so when you move uh, this worksheet will be removed from this workbook class worksheet will be removed from this workbook and will be transferred to another workbook so uh, let us try th doing this I click click on uh, I, I am creating a new workbook and I'm not saving it but I uh, I am moving this workbook worksheet to another workbook and class where I am the one to if I want to do this I just have to right click on it and click on move or copy and uh, then I want to move this selected sheet to book which book book one for example book one and uh, I want it before sheet number one then I click on ok 
then new worksheet you saw that new worksheet is now not here and has moved to book number one new worksheet is moved to book number one you saw that do are you able to see book number one contains this worksheet named classwork and classwork named worksheet is uh, removed from this workbook. See, this is called moving of a workbook. Moving of a worksheet to another workbook. workbook. So, we learned so far how to move a worksheet to another workbook. Now, I, if I want, if I have multiple worksheets opened, uh, let us example, I am creating one one again one worksheet again work, worksheet one worksheet and I have to uh, work on multiple uh, worksheet and uh, I want to change the, the color so that I can distinguish which kind of work I am uh, going to present in that kind of worksheet just by seeing that this worksheet name uh, it is uh, it would be boring to do that it I want to change the color of each worksheet so that I can uh, I can enjoy working on it uh, so that I can change this color by right clicking I just right click on the sheet name and and click on tab color and uh, then on theme on theme I want to change any of uh, the color from any of them for example I would like to set this color and you saw that this color this sheets color has changed and this color will be appeared only when I am I will not be on this sheet if I will be on this sheet this sheets color will not be shown uh, to view the color of a, a worksheet tab it is called tab worksheet tab tab 1 2 and uh, these are called the tabs of the worksheets so I changed I successfully changed the color of this worksheet sheet number five so in the classroom classroom worksheet we created we learned so far how to create a new workbook we created a workbook we learned how to create a workbook by by click going to Microsoft Excel opening it and just going to create a new workbook this workbook is not yet saved you know that because book one is written and uh, if I if I open a new workbook it will it may say that that book is book two or book three book four book five book six and so on it will keep on saying that and uh, we learned so far that creating a new workbook in Microsoft Excel is so easy and uh, uh, it is uh, I will like to uh, show you one shortcut key of this for example you can create a workbook by also pressing control plus n control plus n is the shortcut key control plus n is the shortcut key to create a workbook I will ask about these shortcut keys in the quiz so please remember or take a copy or pen to write down your in your copy and uh, control plus n to create a new workbook we have to press control ctrl plus n we have to press ctrl n let us try practicing this seat I am pressing from my keyboard ctr n n and it just created a new workbook uh, book 4 is now created so and for the second item saving a workbook to save a workbook you have to press CTRL plus S and uh, it will show you the dialog box to save as the of save as uh, where you want to save a workbook and what name you should you want to give it and uh, you will save it 
you will be able to see its name when you will save it you will be able to see its name in the uh, up in the upper cor corner of microsoft excel product name you know that so control s is the shortcut key for saving to save to create creating a workbook control n and uh, saving a workbook control s i will call it control because it gives us control to uh, manipulate the basic functions this that's why i call this key this control it is not a control you some people say it is command key or some people say it is a ctrl key so uh, whatever you call it is uh, uh, it is control key and it is very much useful in when you use microsoft excel so and uh, we learn how to create a workbook how to save a workbook to create a new worksheet what to do and uh, i will also tell you I will also tell you its shortcut key that how you can create a new worksheet to create a new worksheet you just have to press shift plus F11 this will create a new worksheet in within your workbook within your workbook means that uh, that workbook which will be appeared and you are working on it and uh, you s I, I am showing you its example and I am pressing shift plus F11 so you will see the result of pressing these keys it will create a new worksheet and uh, we, you saw you see that sheet number seven is sheet number eight is now so we we should uh, we should see sheet number nine when i press these combination of keys shift plus f11 so i am going to press them see the result shift f11 so the uh, sheet number nine is successfully created so you saw that uh, how to create a new worksheet it is uh, easy to create a new worksheet and you can create as much worksheet in excel as you want as much as you want and uh, now if i want to delete a worksheet if i want to delete a worksheet what should can it be done with uh, with these I don't want to delete this worksheet if I will delete the if I will uh, use shortcut key to delete this worksheet then this working sheet will all will also be deleted I don't want I don't want to delete this worksheet I want to try it to somewhere else to show you the result but just now I will tell you about the shortcut key of deleting a worksheet and to delete a worksheet you have to press alt alt then h then d alt plus h plus d plus s and i will show you its result to delete a worksheet what you have to press uh, which sheet I should uh, delete now I think so that uh, I should delete uh, sheet number one if I should delete sheet number one my uh, laptops charging is going to down and it may of any time let me let me put it on charging so that we can continue our class or it will be off wait so 
start again what we were going to do we were deleting this worksheet I am going to delete this worksheet uh, sheet number one will not be appeared when I will press these combination of keys what I will press alt plus H plus D plus S I will first press alt then I will press H then I will press D then I will press S and now I am going to show you how will it work and uh, it works as this alt H D S and it is asking me to delete because this sheet contains uh, some data if you don't have some data in a worksheet uh, then it will not ask it will I think so that uh, it will immediately delete the sheet you will try to delete and you can't do a deleting sheets when you have some data at excel we will ask that whether you want to really delete it are you sure and then i'm very much sure so i want to delete this worksheet so in class work i'm here now and uh, i would like to I have deleted a worksheet and we have practiced it we, we have pr pressed alt H D and S these four combination of keys are helpful in deleting a worksheet now I would like to rename a worksheet uh, what I would uh, do I would click on it click on uh, this worksheet name and uh, try to change its name and this its name is rename I renamed it I named it renamed okay so can it be also be done through an uh, a shortcut key yes it is possible it is fairly possible what you have to do is you have to click on the worksheet the worksheet name and you have to press F2 click on the sheet name and you press F2 double click on sheet name and press F2 the, 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 the name will be selected the name of sheet will be selected uh, and that's very easy that's very easy to do so So we learned how, uh, how to rename a workbook, worksheet and how to move. Uh, now I uh, would uh, like to see that how I can remove a worksheet. And uh, it we have practiced it that uh, moving a worksheet, how much it can be possible. So I clicked OK and uh, how to change the color of a worksheet how to we learn so far that how to change and it is auto filling i don't know it is how how to change the tab color of a worksheet so we change this the name of the color of this worksheet and uh, right clicking on it and tab color and uh, I would like to change this to yellow this color this lime type color so this these two sheets color has been changed so we learned it so today's class has uh, come to an end in the next class we will learn uh, some uh, other things in detail I think that if you like this class uh, please subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends too in the next class we will learn some more things and uh, before ending the class I would request you to please uh, enroll in the course and learn Excel for free 
and uh, if we, I, I saw that uh, many of the people are, who are enrolled in this particular course are not uh, in, not interested I think so that uh, why they are not many of my students are not taking classes uh, I think so that uh, it is very difficult to take classes to view videos and uh, watch with the pace of the class uh, after uh, when you will have two or three classes and we will be in a speed or we will have to learn many things you will not have uh, the basics so these are the basics I am trying to convey you and uh, so please don't may waste this chance and keep learning with us and if you are not in already enrolled in this course uh, I have a whatsapp group too I have a Facebook page and uh, I would like to all of you to please uh, join our whatsapp group and uh, also enroll in the course uh, in the in course enrollment form is now attached to this video uh, description and you will find it there and after every class I, I would like to ask you to give a quiz those who will give that quiz I will uh, I will provide them certificate at the end of the training uh, all when all videos of this particular K course will be and you will have a grand test and you will be uh, receiving the course certificate for free of cost and you will also you will actually you will have uh, you will have the skill you will have the skill to showcase and you will have to show your employer that you are capable in enough to work in the corporate or in the company so that uh, you can serve the whatever they want and uh, you will uh, impress them with your efficiency and work automation with Microsoft Excel I hope you would like to uh, this class and in the next class we will see you again